फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट आफ्टर एन एग्जोस्टिव स्पीच दैट माई ऑनरेबल कलीग द फाइनांस मिनिस्टर हैज मेड आई हैव वेरी लिटल टू सी द रीजन्स फॉर द मोडिफिकेशन ऑफ द एवोर्ड हैव ऑल्सो बीन गिवन इन द स्टेटमेंट अनेक्स्ट टू द ऑर्डर ऑफ द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ लेबर डेटेड ट्वेंटी फोर्थ ऑगस्ट नाइनटीन नाइन्टी एट एंड प्लेस्ड ऑन द टेबल ऑफ द हाउस एवर सिंस द पब्लिकेशन ऑफ द अपीलेट ट्राइब्यूनल्स एवॉर्ड वैन रंबलिंग्स ऑफ ग्रोइंग डिसकंटेंट ऑन बोथ साइड्स बेगेन टू बी हियर्ड I have been greatly concerned on two accounts. Firstly, I have been most anxious that the state of tension which has existed in the relationship between employers and employees in the banking field during the last 5 or 6 years should relax and give place to an enduring relationship based on goodwill and contentment. Secondly I have been equally anxious that while the terms of final settlement of the dispute could not be such as to injure the cause of banking in the country they should be fair to the vast number of what are known as the lowest categories of bank employees and who have put up with much trouble and expense during all these years of costly litigation it is true that government has been given the power under the industrial disputes appellate tribunal act to accept reject or modify the award of an industrial tribunal if and when government is satisfied that it is expedient in the public interest to do so it cannot be disputed that the said powers should be exercised by government with due care and caution in exceptional circumstances and for very strong reasons of public interest and that the modification of an award of an industrial tribunal by executive action is prima facie not desirable i also subscribe to the views expressed by many honorable members that the sanctity of the award which is in the nature of a judicial pronouncement should be respected by conventions and precedents honorable members have heard from my colleague the finance minister how the full burden of the appellate tribunal award might have brought about a crisis in the banking industry in particular he has told the house how banking facilities in rural areas might have suffered a serious setback on account of the burden the arguments that he has adduced are before the house and i would request honorable members to consider them dispassionately if any bank is really going to suffer a serious setback i am sure that this house and i venture to say all sections of it will accept the necessity of modification however much they might ordinarily condemn such a step as being bad in principle and unacceptable in practice after all it is only in a healthy economy that bank employees or any other groups of wage earners can hope to secure a reasonable living no doubt government must take care to see that the awards of judicial and quasi judicial bodies arrived at after the most exhaustive studies and researches are not lightly brushed aside and that none but the gravest consequences are allowed to justify any modification which might go against the immediate interests of the weaker side that is labor government have placed all their cards before the house and it is for the honorable members to decide whether their judgment is right and whether it has been taken only after the most careful consideration it cannot be a pleasant prospect for any government to pass orders which will have the effect of depriving 
लो पेड इम्प्लॉयज ऑफ ए पर्सन ऑफ देयर एमोल्यूमेंट्स एंड वेन दे अंडरटेक सच एन अन एनवायबल बट परहैप्स इन एविटेबल टास्क दे वुड बी डूइंग सो आफ्टर केयरफुल कंसिड्रेशन गवर्नमेंट्स आर नो मोर इन फॉलिएबल दैन इंडिविजुअल्स बट नो गवर्नमेंट वर्थ द नेम कैन एफोर्ड डेलीबरेटली और नेगलीजेंटली टू क्लाउड इट्स विजन एंड जजमेंट बाय पार्शियलिटी और केयरलेस एजम्पन्स आई वुड देयर फॉर अपील टू ऑनरेबल मेंबर्स नो टू डाउट द बोना फीडिज ऑफ गवर्नमेंट If government in fact have gone wrong it is for the employees to place facts and figures before them with a view to persuading them to change their decision according to one estimate made by the employees 70% or so of the employees stand to lose by the amended award if that is so employees would do well to supply lists of persons who will be suffering a reduction in their emoluments finally i must appeal to both employers and employees to consider these problems objectively and dispassionately they have been before courts and tribunals for the last 5 or 6 years and have expended a good deal of time temper and resources in the prosecution of the judicial proceedings it is time that they settled all old scores and got down to the business of banking their own prosperity is directly linked to the prosperity of the bank they serve in this bill i do not quite understand one peculiar thing in all other legislations we have the feeling that government wants to take more powers stop